gone. It's never coming back. Instead, we got Pac-Man 99. This is this is our replacement. Coming soon, Sonic 99 and Mario 99, which will be in the Mario Brothers 3 style and available for exactly one week before it is taken down forever. For only 20 US dollars. I hope that doesn't come to pass. It, obviously, it's not going to be that bad, but... Maybe there will be another Mario one? After, you know, the, I, I assume, success of the first one. People seem to like it. But this was announced very recently. I only just heard about it. So... I stayed up a little bit late today, later than I usually do. It's a, it's a scary 6 p.m. for old man Zalrog. And I'm starting a stream. I'm going to be first. And I'm going to play some Pac-Man 60. Yeah, Pac-Man 69. I almost slipped. Why am I not getting any game audio? Hold on a second. I think I need to tweak my settings a little bit. There we go, now I can hear it. Yeah, I had monitor off. Uh, I actually booted up Mario 35 just to see what, if it would do so, and it did boot up. And you can browse the menu, you can do like, uh, you can do practice matches. You just can't play an online game, because it'll say, you know, this, this online service is no longer available. Thank you for your continued interest. That's the message you get. Honestly, I enjoyed Tetris 99 more than Mario 35. Mario 35 was kind of limited in, I, I guess, content? I think I would have liked it if it was fleshed out a little more, and if you could attack people directly. Like you could in Mario Battle Royale. It says I'm live on YouTube, am I not? I, I will, uh, I'll double check on that after this first round. Why, it automatically turned me around. It's not supposed to do that, is it? Okay. I don't know what that was. So I assume I'm, like, sending people ghosts. What does this do? Is this bad? Oh, I can kill other Pac-Men! I think. I think that's what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. Wait, what am I missing? Do I just keep going? Do I keep eating Pac-Man? I guess that's what I do. Oh. Yeah, I don't understand what just happened. Uh, so I figured out something new to do with YouTube to try to get it to not publish the video as soon as the stream ends. I think maybe that made it so that the stream itself was unlisted? Let me try setting it to public. Fifty-four. Uh, let's go to results. EXP, KOs, most simultaneous target. Okay, so I can target multiple players at once. Uh, check YouTube now, Darian. Ghosts eaten, fruit eaten, dots eaten. Full maze. So I cleared a full maze. Do I not go to another maze when I do that? Okay, 
I, I wish YouTube was as straightforward and easy to figure out streaming as Twitch. It's, it's really not. Private match? Oh. Wait, you can... So there's like, there's DLC where you can buy the ability to play with just friends? How many friends do you have to have to play a Pac-Man 99 match? I'd, I'd like a party system. Can I, like, play the game with a group of friends and also the other requisite, like, 95 people? This game came with like a digital manual or something. They never, they don't even come with those anymore. We used to get physical manuals. Now, now, now we don't even get digital ones. Oh, hello. I should go for fruit. Oh, fr okay, so fruit resets the dots. Which is good, because I need dots for to score, I guess. Pac-Man looking to score. I, I kind of need to focus on the game. Maybe maybe you can watch, like, the surrounding screens and let me know what you think is happening. Because I really can't tell. Also, I'm getting, like, uh... I'm getting fl flick back with the D-pad? What's going on there? I've had that with... I'm using the Pro Controller, and I've had that with the, uh, the joystick. But this is the first time the D-pad has given me trouble. Maybe I can use it. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can get the the GameCube controller. Maybe that'll work. I doubt it, but I'll be happy if it does. It does not seem to be the case. GameCube has all the buttons except minus and the ZL button. Hopefully I just don't need those. So I'm assuming eating the little hollow Pac-Men that appear do something to my opponents. Okay, now I can't use the joy the joystick on the GameCube. I have to use the GameCube D-pad. Which is not a good D-pad, but it's still better than the what I was just doing with the Joy-Con D-pad. Maybe. No, it's still it's still freaking out a little bit. What is this? They got They got to get the controls working better on this. It's like it feels like they attempted to stupid proof this for people who have never played Pac-Man before and don't understand how he moves. But it's just freaking out all over the place.
Uh-oh. So the extra ghosts that appear... I keep, I keep trying to go down after the ghost and it just sends me to the side. Also, there's so much shit on the screen. This epic trance remix of the Pac-Man theme. You see me, like, going backwards constantly when I don't want to. I just, I tried to go down and it sent me backwards. I, I don't think it's the D-pad, I don't think it's what whatever controller I use is not the problem. It's the way this game handles directions. Give us a day one patch, fix your D-pad dead zones. Alright, 25 out of 100. Oh, wait. Did, why, why is all the stuff on the left? That's odd. Okay, so what will we have in the future? CPU battle. That's DLC. Score attack is DLC. Let's play records. What settings do we have? We have DLC uh, settings. Lego. No, that's Lego. That's Super Mario Kart. Ice Maze. That looks that looks DOS as hell. Like I, I would see that in uh, Zeke the Geek. There's other Namco games you can use as skins. Smurfs? I know it's not Smurfs, I know it's Dig Dug. There's quite a lot of these. That, oh, that would look so weird. Look how huge the enemy, the quote-unquote ghosts are. And some of these are so different, it would get very confusing trying to keep track of everything. I guess if you love whatever these original games are, that'd be cool. Emblems with multiples that I don't have to buy, including his uh, his smash stuff. I'm gonna be melon. Play with new X rally. Okay, so you buy the theme, you also get icons to go with it. Genji and the Heike clans. So I guess these are the Wonder Momo. These these are the names of our games. We can get uh, score badges to show off if we get the DLC modes and score and do well in them. All right. Well, they got to make money somehow. Style or target? Okay. I guess I'll set both to movement and see how that works. Island target. All right. So I need to I need, I need to take a, a minute to see what the the targeting stuff is about because that was important in Tetris 99. I don't think it was a thing in Mario 35, was it? I don't remember there being a uh, a way to choose kind of who you targeted 
or how. Counter, Hunter, or Knockout. I guess I'll do Knockout style. Stronger? Aww. Stronger, Speed, Standard, Train- Boy, I wish I had something to explain to me what all these words meant. information intellectual property notices important information like how to play the fucking game no well okay I guess we're winging it see what we can figure out within two hours and I'm sure over the next like week people will figure out what all these settings mean and we'll, we'll be able to look up a guide on how to play Pac-Man 99 oh we got a new pattern it's it's still okay let me try the let me try the joystick So standard is the default setting. Let's try stronger. Let's try to stick to stronger for a little while. Why did that, how come they reset so fast? I just ate a thing. Okay, so stronger, you have a very short time after you get the pellets before they turn back. Because I think what's happening. Let's try a train. Let's see what that does. That's a lot of things! That's a lot of things. I don't know how. Maybe that's like a, a bunch of li little tiny hits. There's so much shit on the screen. I wonder how balanced this is. If there's going to be like one strategy that people are going to find out absolutely dominates and everyone just kind of has to use it. KO. I heard. I heard the, the the robot KO noise. So I'm not struggling with the controls anymore now that I'm using the stick. Melon loses. So I, at least I kind of figure out what. Well, stronger means presumably. Whatever I'm doing to the enemies is more effective, but I have very little time after I pick up a pellet For the ghosts to be blue Train seems to form really long trains. I don't know what the downside of that is Maybe the attacks are weaker. I don't really I don't understand what I'm doing to opponents or what opponents are doing to me is the thing 
Maybe it spawns another ghost? Let's try speed. We'll do speed for a match. You wanna do speed with me? So this is when, I guess when I reach a certain point, like a score or something, that's when I get all the other Pac-Man on the screen to attack. I don't know what collecting pellets does necessarily. I'm not noticing a difference from standard with the speed setting. Quarters and I'm headed to the arcade. I don't know what I should be focusing on. If I should be focusing on uh, eating dots, eating ghosts, eating men. Also, where's Miss Pac-Man? Okay, uh, I guess the red is bad? Or do I want to go for the red packs? Eating ghosts sends enemy Pac-Man to other players. Like, the red ones? I didn't get the chance to see if I should touch the red Pac-Man or not. That was also the first time I saw them, so... I guess no one had successfully eaten enough ghosts? I, I don't know. I wonder how many streams of this are on uh, Twitch right now, or YouTube. KO, I guess. Don't know how. Oh, okay. So, those white ones, I'm not supposed to collect them or anything. Those are enemy packs, in that they slow my speed when I go over them. So those are supposed to be obstacles. They're so ineffectual that I did not collect- I did not connect that they were supposed to be obstacles. I know Miss Pac-Man was originally, like, uh, 
kind of a bootleg, or it resulted from a falling out with Namco. But I think they own the properties to the, the or the rights to the character now. They just don't like to use her. What an easy alt it would have been for Pac-Man and Smash, too. Just put lipstick and a bow on him. I guess people would have gotten mad about that. They would have had to have, like, uh, they would have had to have the announcer say her name instead of calling it Pac-Man. I'm gonna try train, because I guess that seemed to be going well. I wonder what the... I wonder what the settings are. Let's see, there's Hunter... Counter... Which, I assume, is for, like, people targeting me? Knockout is... This is very similar to Tetris 99 in layout. I just wish, you know, shit was explained to me. We're going feast. So I wonder what is required to send someone a red Pac-Man, and what that does. If that, like, stops them for a moment, or if that just straight up kills them. I'm gonna guess it stops them. I'm also losing track of which Pac-Man I am among the all the white similar shapes. Get up there. Ah! Okay, they slowed me down enough. So I'm pretty confident counter is the equivalent of Tetris KO's target attackers. What, what were the other settings in, in Tetris 99? There was random, there was attackers, there was knockout. What was the fourth one? Having all the stuff on the screen is also, like, aside from the white Pac-Man slowing you down, it can be very distracting. There's only a few important things that you're trying to focus on when playing Pac-Man, namely the four ghosts. And now there's a lot more stuff on my screen besides the four ghosts.
eat all the men. Oh, I'm still set to random. I should do... Uh-oh! Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna get them all. Get them all. Okay. They do not stop you. The red ones are, in fact, death. Do not touch the red pack men. Don't eat the red men. They have STDs. I'm sorry. Maybe going for a certain amount of time without touching a white one will award you a red one. Hey, maybe. That's a tall order given how many white ones are out there. It is bizarre how it may it keeps your uh the status of your dots from one match to the next. I wonder why, or what the reasoning behind it doing that is. I want to be on train and I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna try hunter for a little bit see if I can figure out what that does so there also appears to be it's not just white and red there's also yellow Pac-Man like the ones that spawn in yellow and then turn white are uh, mobile whereas the ones that spawn in white just stick stick around in place like landmines So if you have to buy all the icons and everything, I wonder what the point of ranking up is. I mean, it's a pretty number go up, I guess. But do you, do you get anything from it? Kind of a shame these are Switch exclusives because uh, I'm sure a lot of people would love these on uh, on like Steam. Watch them; uh, they're going to take down Mario 35, and then they're going to use it as their formal announcement of Nintendo entering the PC market. They're going to put it on Steam, and then everyone's going to be okay with it. They're going to be happy. Gabe Newell's gonna gonna sit in his office and pump his fists and be like, "We got him! We finally got him!" I mean, maybe not touching the white ones is a, is a factor, because you can clear them. by getting a power pellet. Uh-oh.
Oh, what the? Did you see that? They were going through, they were going diagonally for a second there. What, what are those arrows? Are those good? Are those bad? I need a fruit. Give me that fruit. I need all of you. Mm -mm. We're gonna get a first place. I'm still on random. Hunter and train. I don't notice a huge difference between uh, train and standard either. I guess it's there. Oh, there's mobile red one now. That was a that was a Beethoven stinger. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, red gave me a break. I turned around. Why did I turn around? All right, that was number four. No, that was number seven. Might as well see who lasts it. What what a cluster the sides of the screen are! I just noticed you have like little tiny mini versions of all ninety nine other mazes. Exterior D one. I wonder how this will do with just the default game mode. It was enough for Tetris 99. I like how they have this little loading screen that tries to sh teach you how to play Pac-Man. Like you've never played it before. Train, and I'm gonna go Hunter to see if I can tell what that is. So where are my things going when I eat a ghost? Let me see if I can pay attention to that. It, I, okay, it just went to as far as I can ascertain three random screens. Uh-oh! Pinky, please! That's big train. Coaster Tycoon 99. We gotta get a hundred people building a theme park at the same time. And when 99 people go bankrupt, the last one wins. They're doing it again. They're going, like, partway through the wall.
So is this the only, I wonder if there are other mazes. This doesn't really have to be like other battle royales that you only get one level, does it? Okay, so if you take out the head, then all the all the tail ghosts, they just come to you. Oh, I got slowed enough. Wait, where did I place there? 6. Uh, somehow I did better that time than the previous time. Now, Tetris had, like, a medal system, where if you do certain cool tricks, you get medals, which increase the amount of garbage you send to other players. There has to be something like that in this. Or rather, there has to be a point to collecting the, the dots themselves, the little ones. I haven't figured out what that is yet. Speed zero, round one. So are there, are there other speeds I can unlock? Or I guess the speed number, I haven't been looking up there. I guess it will increase as the... Uh... As the, as the speed of the, the game increases, as it gets tighter. There are probably, like, pro Pac-Man players who are just infuriated by my routing, or lack thereof. Zoom knockout is the best, I don't know. Darian, what are, what is your opinion on the on the on the strategy based on what you've seen? Oh you left for you left for a minute, never mind. You're useless. Uh I still don't know what collecting the pellets does. I think the highest I got was six. And after a point, you get mobile red pack red pack men who chase you down. I assume maybe as you get more pellets or more points, you get better weapons that you can send at enemies. I just I screwed myself. Give me the fruit. One eight hundred fruit. Oh, that's a red one. Almost went into that. That's a red one, too. I gotta bait him. I gotta bring him here. God, there's red ones everywhere. They're like landmines. And I'm out of power pellets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw myself. I just screwed myself. Top eight. I'm good enough at Pac-Man to consistently make top ten, I've learned.
I was saying it's a shame that these games are a Nintendo exclusive. Well, and they're free to play, so their only real purpose. I guess Nintendo is like commissioning them to help sell Nintendo online, because that's easier than actually fixing their online. But people would eat this up on Steam. Uh, Knockout and Train. So they're both on bottom, is the ones that I usually go to. Maybe Namco put out a website or something. Maybe there's online information about what all these functions and buttons do. I'm going to look that up after this match, see if I can find any information on Pac-Man 99, the day, the hour of release. Just as soon as they turn blue. Okay, what are those arrows? I saw arrows. What do those mean? Game manual. I gotta get that train. That's a good train. What, what, there's a top. Oh, that's a... So there are medals in this game. I assume that's what that little thing over there is. Okay, I gotta get to that train. It's up there. Oh, that doesn't last any time at all. Come here. I'm coming for you. Mm -mm. Oh. Oh, the power pellets don't clear the red Pac-Men. Is there any way I can clear them? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! Take me away, Google. Number seven. Okay, six is still my highest. Release time, end date, trailer, DLC. ArsTechnica.com Already has a Wikipedia article. Uh, Nintendo.com game details. Available now. Okay, but how do I play? Eat power pellets. Sorry, eat a power pellets to turn the ghosts blue and make them vulnerable. Oh, okay. Well, gee, I didn't know that. Eat them to send Jammer Pac-Man to your opponents. Okay, they have a name. The White Pac-Man are called Jammer Pac-Men. The more ghosts you eat, the more jammers you'll send. Eat a ghost train for a huge comeback. Gain the upper hand by eight, switching between eight different preset strategies. Speed up. Send extra jammers and more. That, but that doesn't help. Don't say and more. Tell me what they are. So I guess the I guess the speed strategy must Does it make everyone's game faster or does it just make the 
targets game faster. That's all I got. That That's all it tells me. Well, I learned some things. I learned that, that the white Pac-Man have a name, so that's, that's cool, I guess. We learned what we already, already knew. you have to eat a certain number of pellets before the fruit will appear. I don't know if there's ever a reason that I shouldn't get the fruit, or not. Come here. Oh, I want you, train. You got that Final Fantasy character who can suplex a train? Well, Pac-Man can eat one. Was that Barrett in Final Fantasy VII? Or was that someone else in some other Final Fantasy game that that happened? The impression I get is that the speed setting doesn't affect me, because I didn't notice a difference when I used it. It affects the players that I'm targeting. And I assume it speeds up their game. Let's try that. Let's try speeding up people's games. I'm gonna inject them with speed. It's got tight. I gotta watch for the reds now. Damn reds. It's the communists. I'm in a bad place. Okay, there we go. Give me that fruit. Eat it. Those reds are really, really bothersome. I can't clear them like I can the white ones. Oh, and they move after a little while. I thought they had the spawn moving. I need to get that fruit. There we go. I think the white ones get more potent as the game goes on as well. Uh, knock him out. Give me that fruit. Okay, Ed, it's now that I really have to wait until I have the power... I have the ghost right next to me before I can get the power pellet. Speed makes you faster. Okay, so that's a high-risk maneuver. 
if I can play the game faster, then I can get more points, get more ghosts and everything. You have to be really good at the game to capitalize on speed. That seems like that's going to be the meta strategy. That, oh, I was number two. I was so close. We're going to get a first place tonight. We're an hour in and we got a number two. We're going to get a number one. Maybe speed's the way to do it. Maybe I was on the right track. Maybe I am good enough. I'll try it. I'll try speed and knockout. That'll be my game plan. Come here. You guys come to me. That's right. Uh oh. Let's go up here. There's still pellets up here. I don't remember the individual ghost behavior in Pac-Man. I knew that I know they do all have their own AI, which is an incredible feat for the time. Maybe not incredible, but it was an impressive feat. It wasn't something AI wasn't a thing that existed in games for the most part. I don't notice myself going, my speed's still at zero. So that can't represent my game's speed. Round three. Does that change when I get a fruit? Yes, it does, okay. So when I reset the maze, why's there gotta be only one maze though? That, that's stupid. There's so many, there's literally 240, 254 mazes in this game. Just the default one, that's not counting all the other many versions of Pac-Man that have existed. Why you gotta limit it to one maze, for, for this? Really? Oh. Like you get, you get 100 people in a match together, you can decide on which maze it's gonna be then. PUBG, this is not where you have to you have to design an entire 3D space, a whole island for your battle royale. This is a pack maze. I'll bet Jack's gonna jump on that, jump on this. I don't know if he'll play it tonight, but I, I told him it existed. And he, uh, he played a lot of Tetris 99 and uh, Mario 35, now that he has a Switch. So speed didn't seem to do anything, as far as I could tell. And in fact, I got 30... I died at 31 playing speed, so I'm gonna go train again. I'm gonna go back to train and knockout. Although, I guess if I figure out how to... If I am really good at guiding the ghosts, such that I don't get a pellet until they are right near me, then I guess strength would be the best one to do. Ooh, that... Big train. Mmm, yeah. I was gonna say that fruit uh, reset the power pellets, but not the.
Not the regular pellets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh no! Bad place. Bad touch. Leave in the situation! Okay, we're good. Give me that train. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give oh, I can't get to it in time. Too far from everything. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, there was a red one in there. I got greedy. I saw saw the train and I went to ride the blue train and there was a red Pac-Man in there. Sorry, a jammer Pac-Man. I'll try I'll try power for a bit. I'll see if I can get good at that. Maybe that sends a red Pac-Man for every ghost that I send. Although I think it, I think the the Jammer Pac-Men are just relevant to how late in the game it is. Like they just start turning red once you're down to the last few players. All right, now I gotta lure him in close. Yes! Just like that! How bad is this gonna mess with people? <laughs> Not as much as it's gonna mess with me. 86, playing power mode. I'm gonna give it another shot. Yes, the pink pinky is Yandere. Yandere. It's nice that you have a couple seconds to set your uh, set your settings before the match because you really don't have time to pay attention to that during the match. Stronger knockout. I didn't make it in time. I'm trying something new and suddenly I'm getting 86, 90. I'm not giving up yet though. I still wanna, I wanna try if I can make power work. If I can not die for one round. Big train, I just gotta get Pinky down here. Just like that. Just like that! Oh, it's such a short amount of time you get. Like, you gotta be really aggressive to catch the ghosts before they vanish. But then you just mistime it slightly, and you're screwed. Alright, I got pink.
Pinky's got the train. Which is good that the pink one gets the train. Since that's the one that comes for you. Oh god. Why is there so many coming for me? I'm gonna go counter. Da, 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 da. That's what I hear every time that plays. I don't think I like power. Power is very difficult. Oh, it's, it's called stronger, but I keep calling it power. You get nothing! Yeah. Okay, I keep screwing myself too hard with uh, stronger settings. So I'm gonna stop trying that. It didn't seem like it was KOing people any faster. That's That seems like not the meta strategy. Give it a few months, they'll prove me completely wrong. All the pros will be using the stronger setting. It's the highest risk, highest reward. You just gotta be really good at it. Which you do. You have to be very good at it in order to make that work. Unfortunately, I'm not good at it. Jack, uh... I'm gonna go... S train... I wish- I wish I knew what Hunter was. That's the that's the big thing I still don't know about. Look how much longer that lasts when it's not on stronger setting. Where you going? Come, keep coming at me. And just like that, I get top 50 again. Easy. I just, I just can't use the power mode. They said the power glove was amazing. They were wrong. It breaks your games. It's awful to play with. wanted to get the train. What was that? Top 8? Top 10. I can't afford to look away from my place play area at the stuff that's going on around me like I could in Tetris 99. I don't know. I wonder why. It's just the nature of the game. There's less to keep track of in Tetris. You only really have to pay attention to the upcoming piece and the shape of the top line of tiles. Whereas in Pac-Man, you really have to pay attention to the entire screen at once. You lose track of something long enough and that can just immediately screw you.
I have, uh, I've actually not played any of the more recent Pac-Man editions. What was there? There, you mentioned Tournament Edition, which was, was it multi-platform? I know there were several on the Xbox 360 had a huge market for these kinds of uh, just kind of small WiiWare-esque games, except not on Wii, so they weren't WiiWare. That's just kind of surprising there wasn't a WiiWare pack, man! If it was a WiiWare Dr. Mario, Pac-Man would have been perfect for it. Uh, Tournament Edition is multi-platform. Uh, look up what the four... What were the four settings in Tetris 99? Because I imagine this was made by at least some of the same people. It's too aesthetically similar to be totally... Dis different. What were the attack settings in Tetris 99? Ah! 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 I'm good. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. Or the four uh, things that you could target. You know what? If Daring doesn't get back to me, I'll just boot up Tetris 99 after this. That game is still online, so I can check. Get up there. No! What? I'm, I'm getting slowed. I'm getting slowed bad. I can't go that way because there's red guys. Like, cow and chicken red guys. I don't know. I assume that's what they look like from Pac-Man's perspective. Eat them all up. Everyone. Mm, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, there's a red guy. There's a lot of shit going on on my screen. Oh no! Oh! Gotta get away. Yes. This is gonna be the one. This is it. Eat a melon. Ooh. No, get up there. I need those. Eat those, please. Was that number two again? Badges, okay. That's probably what Hunter is then. Hunter probably attacks the, uh, the one with the most badges. Number two again! I'm getting so close! I get beat by fucking Eddie! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a first place. This stream tonight. You you just watch. Why would they call it Hunter? Badges was so much clearer. So I think by taking out a player with badges, you get badges. So I think that's the point of that. So I'm going to I'm going to start on that. I'm going to start on badges and then after a little ways into the match I'm going to switch to knockout. Iron Maiden is playing Pac-Man. Are they what like uh does the, does the does the band stream on Twitch or something? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... I know some groups do that. Uh I don't think he streams video games, but uh, Herman Lee from Dragon Force 
posts. I think he streams on on, on Twitch. He does like uh, band stuff. B a n d, not not band stuff. He do, he doesn't play Second Life on Twitch. Train. Give me that orange. Oh, Here, here's an update. I don't. I don't think I mentioned during the paperball streams. They have black oranges now. They're not meant to be black. They're meant to be like. Uh, dark red inside. They're not blood oranges. They're called raspberry oranges. And they're supposed to have, like, a hint of raspberry. I say supposed to because they don't, really. In reality, they're just kind of not very good. They don't really have a lot of flavor at all. They don't really taste like orange. They don't taste like raspberry. They just kind of taste bad. <laughs> Oh, you're making an Eddie joke, okay. I, 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 I can't look at chat at all while this is going on. I should have, uh, I should have switched to KOs by that point. And it kind of, it, it, the, the fruit is like orange at the tips, or at one of the tips. Probably where it was like picked from the vine, it's orange. And then it kind of fades to raspberry blackish red as it goes down. It looks like someone just injected raspberry juice into an orange. I'm sure that's not it. I'm sure it's some kind of breed of orange, but it's it's still it's very funny looking. And it doesn't taste great and it turns your tongue black. There was another kind of orange that uh, I saw at the grocery store that I wanted to try next to the next to the raspberry oranges. It was another kind of red orange. It looked more like a uh, cross between an orange and a, and a ruby grapefruit, though. So I'll get those next time and I'll give you an orange trip report. Whoop! We're good. What am I on? I'm still on. I'm on standard. I forgot to change the settings. I will go knockout and. Train? I ran into a ghost I wasn't looking at while I was doing that. Thankfully, it was blue. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I need, I need fruit. There we go. There's a lot to keep track of in this game. And there's a lot to keep track of in Pac-Man, but especially this version. KO. Knockout is kind of the, is the is kind of the meanest thing to select because it targets players who are already having trouble. I caught him in the, I I appeared in the middle of the line. The pack is coming from inside the train. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! I got cornered. I want to try dragon fruit so bad. I don't remember if I've ever had dragon fruit. It's very funny looking. It's the fruit that's, like, spiky on the outside, but it's pure white on the inside. Dragon fruit and star fruit. I think I've seen, but I've never had. Maybe I've had star fruit. Lychees. 
are pretty good. The little uh, fuzzy kind of chestnut looking fruit, but they're not they're not chestnuts. They're uh, they're very soft and tender. So I've been doing best with train and knockout. That that's my game plan. Honestly, I don't I don't know why I ever deviated from it. It always served me well and I'm going to stick to it. I want to like get all four power pellets before I get a fruit because otherwise it feels wasteful, but it's really not. That's a dumb way to think. It gets you killed in these parts. need you. So if there's one member of a train remaining, regardless if it's the tail of the train, it will re it will turn into the original ghost. Coming for you, Mr. Orange. You turned my tongue black and now I'm gonna eat you anyway. Oh, that's a lot of whites. That's a lot of jammers. It's like the sorrow. You take out the weak people and then they all come they all come gunning for you. They all set themselves to uh counter mode. Come here, Mr. Train. Thirty-two ghosts. Oh, I gotta get up to more pellets now. Mm. I can't look how I'm doing. I think I'm doing well. Gonna get me a train? <gasps> I didn't see orange right on my ass. finish. Only 20? I wasn't doing nearly as well as I thought I was. I guess when you have yourself set to KOs, it's inherent that uh, people are gonna die pretty quickly. Especially if everyone in the match has themselves set to KOs. It's gonna... People are gonna drop off like fries. Yeah, like fries. They're gonna drop off like fries on the car floor. All right, train knockout. Double down, the KFC double down strategy. That's my go-to. It gives you fair warning when the the Pac-Man are gonna gonna spawn in at the very least. It's really not about getting the little pellets at all. As far as I can tell, the only reason to get them is to uh, clear, your, clear your maze and get uh, fruit available. Here. I'm gonna eat 
all of you. Train. This is the point where Zelrog runs out of commentary and just describes what's happening on screen. such a limited music selection to go from when creating a Pac-Man background music like this too, because the original game just had the jingle, and that, the starting jingle, and that was the entire soundtrack. Why did I go down? Number four. The person above me expresses my sorrow. Nick. That's not our Nick, is it? Jeff. I'm gonna find out uh, Achievement Hunter did a day of release video of this. I'm, 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 my name's gonna be in an Achievement Hunter video. You just watch. There are no other Jeffs in the world besides that one. Every YouTuber is probably doing this right now, though. Except Vinny. Well, yeah, this this launched while Vinny was going through some problematic stuff. So I'm sure he'll get to it, but it's not going to be until uh, after he deals with all of that and is back to streaming. Man, this would have been a day one for him otherwise. Uh-oh. Not with a mustache as glorious as his. I wonder if he still has the stash. He didn't have it at first. And then he grew it. And he just took a lot of care to groom it. And I haven't watched any of their videos in like a year. I'm, I'm kind of on and off with Achievement Hunter. gonna get trapped. No, I'm good. Okay, I just made it to the pellet. I should, uh... What was the awful Pac-Man box art? Was that one of the Atari ones? There's one particularly just atrocious looking one. Where they drew him as like a teenage dweeby kid in shorts with a big head eating what looked like white hockey pucks. 
it was one, one of the those infamously bizarre cover arts for games that everyone talks about. Like bad, bad box art Mega Man, that kind of thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. They're gonna change soon, aren't they? Get me pellet. I need those. Oh, there's a red one in the way! I'm cornered. I'm in a very bad spot. Number eight. Dieku. Dexter. At least I beat Dexter. That means I'm smart. That's the Atari one. That's what I thought. We need it. We need a game. Uh, we need Smash Brothers, but with only the bad box art versions. We get that Pac Man. We get bad box art Mega Man. I guess we would have to go for like, uh, if we're going for game art, we would have to use like uh, arcade Donkey Kong Mario. Otherwise, if we were, if if we had free reign to, we could get the Bob Hoskins Mario from the movie. That's like the scuzziest official Mario. We get the uh, original design for Movie Sonic. He, he can be in this in this uh, scuzzy Smash Brothers. Uh, Darian, you're the expert. What What's the worst version of Simon Belmont? What would be the, the scuzziest, most comically just not fitting to the character model that Simon Belmont could use? The Captain N one? That's an option. It's still cartoony, it's not like, uh, it doesn't attempt to be realistic like the Pac-Man or Box Art Mega Man ones. Unfortunately. <gasps> I'm bad. I'm in a bad spot. Gotta get a pellet. Okay. Always got to remember to double down. All right, now set up a train. Get my pellet, and then go for it. Just like Joe Beautiful says. Castlevania Judgment, Simon. Okay, number seven. Beat by Joker. David. Fuck you, David.
What are some other Smash characters? Uh, Link. What would be the worst version of Link they could use? Even the... Even the CDI ones and the cartoon Link still basically look like the character. Between those two, like, the CDI one looked the worst, but... I guess there's also that one from the, uh, unapproved, like, DreamWorks-looking movie pilot. Which someone said looked like something. I don't remember what they compared it to. That was the one where Ganon looked like Sephiroth, but green. Ganondorf, rather. Where are you going? Get back here! I hate how they try to... They go through walls to try to, like, reconvene with their herd. And the ghosts in their wild habitat. Things, things aren't supposed to move diagonal in Pac-Man. You can't do that. That messes with me. I need a pellet. I need a pellet! Ganon's design in the cartoon. Uh, you mean, like, the Legend of Zelda cartoon? Oh yeah, that is what he looked like. He was like the yellow pig guy. Kinda looks like a he looks like a battle toads enemy. Uh, Detective Pikachu, Pikachu would be the scuzziest looking Pikachu. Hot take. I I had to Google it because I forgot what the Ganon cartoon Ganon looked like. I hope this game is going to be okay with people for people with epilepsy. I shouldn't be laughing. Serious statement. Pig cop from Duke Nukem. Yeah, I can see that too. Nope, you're not getting away. Oh, one of them got away. The chain can like break up partway through if you're not careful. Or the train, rather. Chain. It's Tuesday.
get a KO. Oh, I need a fruit. And I need a pellet. Okay, I'm good. I'm gonna make a train. I'm gonna make a nice big train. Get them all at once. Come here. I got it. There's no, there's no fruit. Where am I going? What am I doing? I need more pellets. Oh, no. I screwed myself. Oh, he's faster than me. I, th I thought I was always faster than the ghosts. Or as fast as the ghosts. Neko Ness. Fellow. Booey. Kenny. Chibi Kaiju. It's, Go it's Godzilla Jr. It's Godzuki. All right, double down. I'm going to remember this time. The strategy served me well in the first several matches. It seems like it's getting weaker over time. Maybe I need to uh, mix up my strategy depending on what's going on in the game a little more. I, t I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. Let's try standard, I guess. Fortunately, because the ghosts have a set AI, they always they start the match in the same way every time. Which actually will make this game very linear if they don't introduce other mazes or some way to mix it up. I assume it's better to get a big train all at once because it sends, you know, jammer packs to other players all at once, which is more cumbersome than just having a few of them speckled about. There was a red one. In championship, when you grab a fruit, the layout of this cha uh, stage did change. Huh. <clears throat> Before Symphony of the Night, they just hired in-house VAs or folks that were in the area. You mean, for Symphony of the Night on the PS1, they went out of their way to try to hire good people. Was that their attempt to hire good actors? Or do you mean before the Symphony of the Night, like, redub? Because I know they did... They re-recorded the dialogue for a later port of the game, right? I didn't know there were voices in, Castle, in Castlevania games before Symphony of the Night.
before the advent of games after Symphony of Night. Where's the train at? Oh, the train was just released. Just coming out of the station. Nice and a nice tunnel for me. Tunnel so nice, I'll go through it twice. What do the shoulder buttons do? Anything? The shoulder buttons do not seem to do anything. Train going. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch that train. I'm not gonna catch all of it. Come here, Mr. Train. You're mine. Red one. I saved it. Ah! Top ten again. Championship, the shoulder buttons gave you bombs. Interesting. That's what we're gonna get next. We're gonna get Bomberman 99. Oh, it wasn't even top 10. It was top 13. Uh, what was the... There was... There was uh, I think there was a bad box art Bomberman, too. I don't remember which game it was for. There was one game where they tried to make Bomberman super realistic. It was like Bomberman R or something. No, it wasn't Bomberman R. But aside from that, just one of the earlier ports of the Bomberman games, I think they had that style of uh, like goofy, realistic box art. These were two different Bomberman games. I wonder if it's worth accumulating a train of uh, multiple fruits. Like getting all these, getting a fruit, and then getting a whole nother set of them. I'm gonna try that. Ignore this train. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna get a fruit. I'm gonna make it even longer. We're gonna make a super train. We're gonna the, the Pac-Man hype train is going. I can't. The game will not allow me to make the train that long. The game says no. Come on, you, you get you gotta give these guys a chance. You can't be that mean to players. Not when you're set to knockout. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin the game for people. They're not gonna play it, and then they're not gonna get the Switch Online. <laughs> Man, I wish it let, let me send 50 bamillion guys to someone's screen at once. How come you don't like me having fun, Namco?
Oh, I, I made it just in time. I was worried there. I thought I died. Oh, there's reds. There's reds right here. I need to get to the fruit. I need to get a pellet. I need to do all, all this fast. Okay. I need that fruit. Give me that fruit. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Ah. I'm dead. No. I was alive when I don't think I should have been. Turbo graphics. No, not turbo tax. Bomberman. Number three. I still haven't taught. I still am. I'm so close to top one. I've gotten number two twice, I think. the one this might be it I just I can start the match the same way every single time because the AI does the exact same thing every single time like people are gonna catch on to that immediately such is the nature of Pac-Man target of just getting all the pellets on a level to clear, it seems so quaint when you look at something like this. Like, what, that's it? That's all you gotta do? Well, that just seems easy. That's so little to keep track of. just sit here. They can crawl into my ass, and I will kill other players by them crawling into my ass! I'm sorry, that was silly. That was a silly thing to, to have appeared on the screen, that sequence of events. Just join my place in line here. hate the way they move diagonally and go through walls. Ah! Ah! I'm good. I'm fine. I'm alive. I need that fruit, but I also need to clear some of these guys out. I'm gonna make this train longer. I'm gonna milk it. You ever milk a ghost? I can't milk it anymore. That's the most I can make it. The train has its limits. God, stop going diagonal! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Top 21. Okay. What are we at? Two hours now. I'm gonna give it one more shot. If this, if this wasn't so late in the day, I would keep going until I got top one. But it is late in the day, so I'm not going to do that. Let me see if I can get this image on stream. 
Come on, computer, stop being so slow. Okay, you know what? I will keep playing as long as it takes me to get this stupid Bomberman cover on screen. That will be my stopping point, is showing the stupid, realistic Bomberman. I like how the ghosts have cooldowns. They have respawn timers, like it's like it's a shooter. Pac-Man spawn camps the ghosts, and the ghosts call him cheap. Maybe Pac-Man just needs a Snickers. Maybe that's all it takes to make for him to not be so hungry anymore. That would be a good cross-promotion opportunity, Pac-Man and Snickers. Namco just needs to hop on that, get Pac-Man and a Snickers ad. You're not you when you're hungry. Oh, there was a ghost there? I didn't even see that one. Come on, Discord, why are you, why are you dragging your heels? I probably won't stream this again unless there's a major update or something. In fact, I don't know if I'll play it again with if there's not a, like a major update. With at, le at least more mazes. This game really needs that.
I think this will make a good highlights video, though. determines whether the uh, fruit restores your entire your entire dot matrix or just the power pellets. Because sometimes it does one and sometimes it does the other. How does how do they keep getting out? It's like characters falling out of multi hits in Smash Brothers. It's so arbitrary and annoying. red ones now. So I can, like, I can paralyze the red ones by getting the power pellets, but it doesn't completely destroy them. Oh, God. I, got, I gotta really work my ass off to get around these red guys. I can't get that fruit. Man. So many hoops to show a stupid image on odds. There you go. Now that all the fun has been sucked out, there's realistic Bomberman from the Turbo Graphics. Look at him. Look at look at that boy. He's gonna fight bad box art Mega Man and Bob Hoskins Mario and and Atari Pac Man. Which, in retrospect, I should have got Atari Pac Man. That would have been more relevant to this stream. I'll do that too. I'll do it while I'm playing. It'll be an amazing feat of multitasking. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
and multitask, you end up running away from trains, not towards them. I can do the ass method. Oh, they stopped coming towards me. I'm gonna type it now. I'm still doing it. Atari. Box art. Oh, there's reds everywhere. Okay, I, I couldn't do it. I got him, though. I found him. Beautiful. Put them in Smash. I want my boy in Smash. Screw the screw the Pac-Man world design. It looks stupid. Put this one in. All right. I'm done. That's it for Pac-Man '99. Uh, rip. Rest in peace, Mario '35. We hardly knew ye. We knew ye for six months. You were but a bab. I guess this is this is your replacement. Eh, it's all right. I had fun. I had as much fun as I had with Mario 35. I still think Tetris is probably the best of the three. It has the most replay value. But it's, it's up to taste a little bit. There's improvements that could be made. Give us more mazes. Give us box art Pac-Man. The basic things. If there's a big update, maybe I'll play it again, but that's pro that'll probably probably be the only stream of it. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you tomorrow for Awesome Knots, probably. Adios.